Fiala, who comes to us as a doctoral student from the Department of Sociology, and she's going to slam tonight on the topic of incarnation of the self and ethnography of the Las Vegas streetcar scene. So I naively ask one of my participants, why do you street race? He shakes his head and says, that's like asking why do you read? People like different things. People always look down on racers because they don't understand the culture. It is my job today, in less than three minutes, to help you all understand the culture of the Las Vegas street car scene through participant observations at car meets, semi-structured in-depth interviews, a constant analysis of online forums, all coded with grounded theory, I was able to come up with four findings to help understand the culture and practices of the Las Vegas street car scene in order to understand the importance of scenes in cities. First, I found out that not a lot of the individuals are part of the scene's street race. In fact, most of them use the scene as a way to escape day-to-day -day activities and as a way to connect with like-minded individuals. I was speaking with a member of the scene when he said, we're not in high school anymore, so it's really hard to find people who like the same thing, and a car scene does that for us. Next, I found out that these individuals have strong, faithful respect for their scene's rules. Often on their flyers, you'll see the phrase respect the lot or respect the spot. This means no burnouts, no rev outs, basically don't do anything that may get the police involved. If this happens, members will take a picture of the perpetrator, post it on their online forums, and essentially blacklist them from coming to events. I was speaking with a member who was frustrated about this when he said, for some of us, this scene is more than just car meets. It's a family. This leads to my next finding, which is that there are really strong familial connections in the scene. Members of the scene who are predominantly male often call each other brother. They'll bring their families and pets to events, and when a member of the scene passes away, they often have a candlelight vigil and various other events to raise money for the funeral. Finally, these individuals have really strong, deep connections with their cars. They spend a lot of time and money personalizing their vehicles to personify themselves. I asked an individual to describe the relationship he had with his car, and he smiled, and he said, my car keeps me out of trouble. It takes care of me, and I take care of it. The car is an extension of us. So scenes really help provide a sense of community in cities where it seems to be vacant. And my research can be used to develop urban sociological perspectives to expand on the concept of community in cosmopolitan cities. Now, this presentation may have seemed a little rushed, but if I got at least one individual in the room to understand the culture of the Las Vegas street car scene, then I did my job. Thank you for your time.